Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. Hallelujah. You can get loud in the house today. Wow. I so love when praise and worship and ministry and and the sermon, it all aligns without anyone talking to each other. That's what obedience to the Holy Spirit looks like. Pretty soon you find yourself in alignment. I want to read a psalm. I want to read from Psalm 103 today. And I'm going to read it from the Passion Translation. Verses 1 through 5, it says, With my whole heart, my whole life, with my innermost being, I bow in wonder and love before you, the holy God. Yahweh, you are my soul's celebration. How could I ever forget the miracles of kindness that you've done for me? You kissed my heart with forgiveness in spite of all I've done. You've healed me inside and out from every single disease. You've rescued me from hell and saved my life, and you've crowned me with love and mercy. You satisfy my every desire with good things. You've supercharged my life so that I soar again like a flying eagle in the sky. You know, David wrote that psalm in praise of his amazing God, but David wrote that psalm to what? To remind himself of his God's goodness. He knew the power of waking up and stepping into praising that his God was a good God. He knew that it placed him in a place of gratitude for what God had already done and for the faith to stand on what God was still yet to do in his life. Why did he do that? Because just like you and I, David was human. And he would get in the midst of his day, the midst of his week, and he would get going. And you know what? It's easy to forget if we're not keeping this at the forefront of our mind, on the tip of our tongue, and at the top of our soul. How good our God is. It's easy to forget. And yourself, man, when a storm or a trial hits you, he wants to step into complaining. That's his knee-jerk reaction. But we don't have to think that way. Because we can wake up every day and remind ourselves what a good God we serve. I remember growing up in James. Give him a praise. I remember being in church as a little girl, and one of the one of the hymns that we would sing it. It was very simple, but to this day, it's one of the ones. It's very simple, and I'll sing it in the morning, and it just gets me in that place. It aligns me in a position to remember that He is a good God, and He's bigger than anything I'll find myself in the midst of, and that I am grateful that He is on my side. It goes like this. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Do you know it? Oh, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. right now. You line up self man. You line up natural man and you step into supernatural and you believe and trust that your God's got you and your God's got whatever you're walking through.